I'm at Warm Bodies premiere. You can't beat it. These guys, I'm afraid to look at them in the eyes. Okay. They might be real zombies. Right I don't know. I thought it was an interesting script, and Jonathan Levine is a bright young director. I hope they're going to see something that's unique, that's kind of unlike other things they've seen before, and has lots of really cool music and lots of wonderful actors. A lot's going on. It's action, but then there's this little kind of romantic connection suddenly going on. It's quirky. It doesn't take itself too serious, but it has that Romeo and Julia love story as well. I love how it's developed recently, you know, the more comedic twist, and then we're kind of pushing it in, a, in another direction. There's a lab scene early on where like the whole cast is there and there's mayhem and there's zombies. It's just madness to start off the movie. That is where I die immediately, yes. Uh, so yeah, you get to see my brains being eaten. It's, it's all right. I was excited to see the scene where I eat Dave Franco's brains. That was actually um, not my head that he was like ripping the brains out of. So yeah, I got to skip that hair and makeup. The scene where I, I see R for the first time, it was so much fun to shoot. I'm sliding around with a shotgun in my hand. All the zombies are coming at us. and. He, uh, he sees my character and everything's in slow motion and he starts to fall in love. There's a great kissing scene, let me put it like that. Ooh, Between a okay. zombie and a human being and you're gonna... Ooh, heart's gonna melt. I'm excited for when I hold a gun to John Malkovich's head. Um, but, but other than that, the soundtrack, I think people are really gonna find pretty feeling, yeah. In the movie, our main zombie uses music to kind of communicate. So he uses Bob Dylan. He uses Guns N' Roses, um, which, you know, I think a lot of guys can relate when they make mixtapes for girls. What would be your first instinct in a real zombie apocalypse? I don't know. It depends, I guess, <laughs> if I was a zombie. I mean, run, hide, panic, scream like a little girl. Um, I think I'm running for the hills. I am hiding as, as long as it takes for them to find me. I have no survival plan. I'll protect my family. I'm going out, I'm going out like Rambo. Me and my whole family are going to get eaten and it's over. Uh, let's say uh, I'm picking them off from like up in the hills, like bow and arrow down, okay. like from above, very cowardly, yeah. Puns and, and wordplay, I, I, have, uh, I have a list ready, and just to um, just kind of spout it out rapidly, rapid fire type thing. Go to my dad's house in Indiana, because you know that's a very big hunting environment, so he has like 20 shotguns and I would just stock up. Who needs weapons when you have uh, some, some witty responses? Then it would just confuse them and they would just go at each other. Definitely to dress up as a fellow zombie and pretend I was one of them so they wouldn't want to eat me already and then spend my downtime when I was not being a zombie trying to find the cure. Only the girls have said they'd, they'd fight up. Yeah, of course. That's what they say now. I mean, you gotta know how to defend yourself, right?